Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Josh L7. We are here on level 27 called Yokigahara and we are going to get started. This looks like a mazy kind of thing with some blob stuff going on here. I'm going to try to avoid freeing any of the blobs if possible. As well as going through any toggle buttons at the moment. I'm just going to try to get as many chips as I possibly can. Hopefully without freeing blobs or doing anything too crazy. And so far it looks like this strategy is working out. Um, I don't really... <laughs> I don't really know how well I'm keeping track of everything. I'd, I think at this point I've gone everywhere I can with that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it up a bit. I'm not going to free that blob. Alright, good. So, let me go back out. There's another door here that we can go through. Mm. So it looks like this is all it is. It seems to be a pretty uh, simple maze and chip collecting level, but the aesthetic of it definitely makes it a little bit more interesting to navigate, and I really like that. I'm always a sucker for great aesthetics, and this is a very unique one with a really cool color palette. It's not often I see a level with gravel like this have this much colorful stuff, and I, I like that. Okay, um, let me switch it again. I don't know if I've been here. No, I have been here. I haven't seen any keys to grab, so I'm assuming that I'm just missing a door to go through. Oh, there we go. That one. Gotta keep an eye out for those buttons that are behind other doors. Oh, toggle doors that are, that is. Okay, so I think I've exhausted all that. Alright, what am I missing? I went there already. So that's done. Um, mm. I guess I haven't gone here yet, because there's still a chip there. I thought I got a chip up here, but I guess not. Yeah, there's definitely this thing. Very well done. Okay, so is this new territory? Nope. Three chips, huh? Maybe this is where we need to go. There's, yeah, here we go. That's one chip. Here's number two. And there's the last one. This kind of reminds me in some ways, of a lot of Jeffrey's levels, because a lot of his levels have this sort of thing where the actual area within which you do the mazing is not as big as the actual level, but the level makes itself look bigger than it really is. And that's a really neat concept. Alright, good stuff. Let's move on to Frostbite Fortress. Mm. I remember this level, uh, I haven't played it, but I remember seeing it in a crate competition for using the walls of CCLP1. I believe this uses Spumoni's walls. This definitely looks very interesting to navigate. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else there at the moment, so let's go ahead and move onward. Huh. Okay. I was a little distracted there. Sorry about that. Mm. Okay. Let's try this again. Mm. Ah! Almost, almost died there. Okay, so what does that do? What did I just accomplish by doing that? Mm. Ah, there you go. Mm. Mm. I forgot the blue walls can mm. be used to navigate further. Mm. 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 That's fake. Mm. So is that. So we need more skates. Mm. Which I can't get to without a blue key. Mm. Mm. Ah, here we go. Mm. 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 Interesting. Mm. So there's mm. blue keys. Mm. But getting back is going to be fascinating to deal with. Mm. Okay. I'm assuming I need to go through here. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm supposed mm. to push this down or not. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe I should have cleared that one blue wall there first, so let's give that a go. Let's see how that turns out. I should have thought of that. Mm. I didn't even think about doing things that were in line of sight of the block. That was my bad. Mm. So at some point, I'm going to need to... Really? <laughs> I'm going to need to come back there and do that. Mm. Um, mm. How do I... Oh, here. I should probably stop recording after this video. It's been... It's been a bit of a long night. I think this is my fourth video tonight. Because I only recorded one video when I started the set. Mm. Okay, so mm. let's go up here. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure I uncover mm -hmm. everything. Okay, mm -hmm. so I cannot mm -hmm. actually go through there. So what is the point of this block? Mm. What does that do? Mm. I can't actually push it. Unless I'm supposed to push it down and then push it to the left. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that how it works? Mm. I'd be really mm. curious mm. to know. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, so... Mm. Maybe I need to ultimately use this block... Yeah, I need to ultimately mm. use this block to hold down that button. Mm. That's what's going on here. Okay, so mm. that's how you overcome that. You don't get those keys. Mm. There we go. Okay, so here... Were those walls in mm. Spumoni? I don't remember. Oh, wait. Were those... Those were blue walls. My bad. Mm. Alright, so now... Mm. I need to actually get the blue keys and then come mm. back. Mm. Mm. There we go. So now I can go through here and then get my... Wait a minute. How am I going to get back through that? Oh, I wasn't supposed to use the recessed walls originally, was I? That's what's going on here. Okay, I see what you're doing. I can pick up what you're putting down. Let's go this way. So I'm supposed to go through this twice. That's the moral of the story here. Mm. I see. Mm. Mm. We're learning, guys. We're learning. Mm. Mm. It's all a process. It's all a learning mm. process. Mm. You just got to mm -hmm. go with the flow. Don't stress it, you know. All right. So we got that done. Now I can come back through. Mm. Oop, this way. Mm. I really like that little mechanism there. That's very well done because mm. it actually forces you to approach it in two different ways at two different times, which is really neat. Because mm. now I, I have to go back another time, but this time with the keys. Like, I think that's really neat. I like that. Okay, this time we go this way. All right, there we go. That's much better. So now what? Do we go here? Mm. We can't go there. Mm. Um, I'm not entirely mm. certain what we're... Oh, this. Mm. Right, I forgot about that. Mm. All right, let's go this way then. Hopefully we don't miss anything... Uh, too critical. Mm. Ooh, I like the aesthetic of this room. The teeth of the walkers really look cool using the tile world um, graphics. Okay, so now we go through here. I don't want to push those to the left. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this. I don't know. Okay, we have to push this one. I think that's the only option. It's either this one or the ones that are to the right there.
Hmm. Are we supposed to get all of these? Oh, whoops. That is not what I meant to do. I really hope... Okay, we can still make this. We can still make this. I really hope we don't have to actually go back here without the uh, the aid of flippers. But if we do, I think we're fine. We should be fine. Mm. Make mm. sure this mm. is... Yeah, that's nothing. So that is suction boots, huh? Okay, there we go. We'll do that. So I had to get these blocks positioned correctly. Okay. There we go. Uh, this could be interesting. I need to figure out a way. Hang on. Before I do that, I need to figure out a way to get this, like, there. How do I do this? This is fascinatingly weird. Ah, I feel like I haven't cooked it, but I don't know. It's a little iffy right now. If I push both of these up, I can't turn it around there. Let me just try this. I don't know if this is a stupid idea or a really awesome idea, but let's see. Hopefully, this is not a really stupid idea. Okay, I'm a little worried here that if I do that... Okay, if I do this, it should be fine. There we go. Oh, but now I can't... Oh, no. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Uh, did I just mess this up? Because I don't know how I can get there and get a block over here. Not without completely re-overhauling this area. This is a really awkward setup for a for a block pushing thing. But that was, that's what makes it interesting. Oh man, we're wasting time here too. This is not good. Oh, and I think that just sealed our doom right there. Now I can't get one of these blocks out. Okay, we're starting over. Sorry about that. I uh, I think I got in a little over my head there. This is definitely a level that really keeps you on your toes, and it really matches the sort of tone of the set very well. But I'm very impressed with this set. Like, I'm very impressed with just the way it has this sort of what some people might call CCLP3-ish gameplay. But it's not mean like C some of CCLP3's gameplay was. Like, everything is pretty fair, and I like that. Wait a minute. This way. I mean, that's no easy feat to pull that off, so props to Josh, really. I mean, I am very, very impressed with this set so far. I know I keep saying that, but it's it bears repeating. Okay, so we can get that, go through here. Okay, so now I can go through here, get this. Mm. And that in turn enables me to go here. I still can't get that. Oh wait, no, I get it with these, right. 
So this area is completely finished with this pair of skates. So I'm going to assume that the path back is pretty linear because I saw another blue door down at the bottom there and it's kind of making me a little suspicious. So I'm assuming I don't actually need to create a path back, so to speak, for these blocks, but or with these blocks. But you never know, so I'm just going to do it just in case. Uh, I guess we'll just push that up. Oh, there's a blue key there. Nice. Alright, so we have to do either this or the top one. It doesn't really matter for now. But now, we need to figure this out. Okay. So we start off like that. That should be fine. So maybe I need to do that, and then... Hmm... Sooner or later, I'm going to have to push one of these things to the right. Like, that's kind of unavoidable. So let's go ahead and do that. So the key here seems to be getting all these blocks out in such a way that they'll all fit. So it seems like getting things into the middle area of each room is going to be impossible. So I really have to take advantage of these blocks positions within the middle areas there while I can. Otherwise we're going to be up a creek and that's going to be a problem. So... Okay. This is a little strange but let's do this like that. Um, I'm thinking at the moment that what I need to do is I actually need to push this in the middle. That might be the play here. If I push this in the middle, well, hang on, maybe not. Uh, this is really bothering me. I don't know why this is so difficult. Okay, if I do this, I can go here, right? So that's fine. Problem is after that. That's where I'm kind of slipping up a bit. So maybe all I really need to do is just worry about this stuff now. Yeah, I think that's all you have to do. You just have to do this. Yeah, that's it. I was making that way harder than it needed to be. Oh my goodness, I pushed the wrong one. That was completely dumb. Why? Why did I do that? Oh man. Seriously though, props to Josh on that puzzle. I don't know if that's adapted or if that's an original Sokoban, but that was very well crafted. I mean, holy cow. That is very well done, mm. considering that the space mm. that it's mm. in is not actually an original mm. wall layout. Like, way to mm. go, man. That's that is cool. That's not easy to do that. And, like, mm. I can say that from experience. Mm. Okay, that time I actually knew where to go. Okay. Let's try it again. We'll get it this time. We'll get it. I say that, and then that happened. I think I was right earlier. I needed to. I need to go to sleep after this recording. Some people can record let's plays at crazy hours. I am not one of those people. I'm like, it's not even a crazy hour. It's only nine fifteen right now. I'm getting old, guys. I can't record Let's Plays even at 9.15 without my mind just being melted like this. Okay, I don't even need to use that yet. Okay, first things first. Let's actually make sure we push that block up. I think we did last time. We just failed this part. Mm. I went for those keys mm. first, which was not, not the smart move. 
Mm. Actually, wait a minute. I could have gone for the keys. I've been doing this the long way each time, it seems. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Here we go. Once more, onto the breach. Okay, so mm, we'll do... Mm, mm. Wait a minute. There we go. Good thing I didn't get those stolen yet. Mm. Not that I really could have in this section. At least, but... Still, you never can be too careful. Also, while we're going through this, I have to mention that area outside with all the teeth and the tank cloners and all that. That's a really nice bit of uh, aesthetic boost for this level. And the level already looks pretty cool, so that's that's saying something. See, it's levels like this that make me not want to design levels, because it's like, man, how can I live up to this? I know that sounds a little defeatist, but it's like, I'm way too much of a perfectionist. I really shouldn't be, but I, I do have those tendencies. You know, I just thought of something. You may have to go to the exits with no slippers. That, that could be interesting to deal with. Okay, let me remember how to do this. Okay. Mm. Let's do this. Put one over here. Push these down. Alright, now... Okay, now we do this, and we start with this one. Just want to make sure it's the one over there. There. Okay, now we do this one. Good, all right. See, that wasn't so bad. Is there any point to that glider cloner? I hope that's not a problem. Maybe we have to clone three gliders? All right, I'm going to go ahead and just push this out of the way. What does this say? The red button in this room allows the tanks to be switched only three times. Okay, that's what we thought. So, do I get the chips? I hope. I'm assuming I need to get the, the block through. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So let's do it. My question is, what... Oh, here we go. This is why. I'm wondering what's up with all the... Uh... Oh, maybe those recessed walls are so you have to go through there while not getting anything stolen. Yeah, like flippers. Mm, mm, I can see that being an mm, issue. Mm. So this seems to be all invisible. Mm. And we got a bunch of clone buttons here, which makes me nervous. But let's go for it. There we go. Mm, mm. Alright, so that's going to fill up. And I s presume we go back through here? Yes. Alright, so we have only one chip left, and it's right there. So, yeah, we do have flippers on the... Mm. Oh, except we don't, because we're about to get them stolen. Mm. Mm. Alright, we should be fine, though. Good thing we prepared for this. That was very well crafted. Um, very well done. Like, seriously, I would not mind seeing that in a future CCLP. That is that is definitely a top-notch level. Well done, indeed. Okay, Rubik's Cube. Okay, we buy a bunch of blocks, keys. Okay, I think I see it. We don't have any green keys unless there's one under those blocks. So we have five of each key, I think. Okay, so we need to figure out how to use these wisely. If I can use these m for multi-purpose things, then I will. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, because that will at least clear the way for that block. We also have to push them out, but we can't actually bridge yet, so that's going to be interesting. I'm assuming this is also used, so let's do that. What about here? Let's do this. I'm trying to use the minimum number of locks, but 
I'm not sure on some of these. I wonder if there's extra keys. I don't know. Okay, this one just needs one. Ooh, that's the last one. That's potentially problematic. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we used too many blue ones. And that was the last... Okay, so we were close. I think we were pretty close. It's either we used too many reds or too many blues. So let's try that again. This is a really neat puzzle idea. I like it. Okay, I like how green is actually used as a bad color in this case. So maybe we're not supposed to use a blue there. Maybe we're supposed to use a yellow here. It's worth a shot. Let's give it a try. Okay, this is three yellows now, so that's that could be potentially problematic. That's four yellows. And this, ooh, that's a, okay, that's just a blue and a red. I'm pretty sure this is correct. I don't see any other better way to do that. Okay, I think this is right. I think this is good. Because that is the last yellow. That's the last red. And, oh. Never mind. Um, we still have this problem up here. Okay, let's start over again. Not exactly sure what we have to do here that's more optimal than what we're already doing. That feels like a given. So does this. It's mainly this top section that's a little iffy. Because this is where we use the most keys, and I'm a little concerned about it. These two seem to be correct. I'm pretty sure. So it's really, it's really just a matter of breaking into that top area in the most optimal way possible. Hmm. I am kind of stumped. So let's just review here. So far so good there and there. Okay, so that uses all of the red keys. There! Okay, so that's that seems to be the solution. Okay. I want to make sure I don't trap anything in there. This is a little awkward. This would be really interesting to optimize. Not going to lie. I could see it being potentially frustrating, but definitely very interesting. I think one of the things I'm really happy with when it comes to this set is that a lot of the levels are pretty much what I would want to see in a CCLP5, which is levels that are not terribly mean, but they're definitely on the more on the difficult side. But yet there's enough of a difficulty curve you can plot through them. Like these levels, so far they haven't exactly been like super difficult. But they're definitely more difficult than your average level 1 through 30 fare. But in all honesty, I would not mind seeing these things in levels 1 through 30 of CCLP5, if we ever make one. So, yeah, bring it on. I mean, I don't know if I would really want to go all the way to you can't teach an old frog new tricks of difficulty, but I would, I would want the end of CCLP5 to be more difficult than CCLP4. I think we can I think we can still aim for something that's in between those two two uh, difficulty spikes. All right, that was really cool. I liked that level. Oops, I hit restart. Uh, let's see. Next up is Water is my friend. I'm assuming this is Yeah, this definitely is a uh, reference to Fire is my enemy. Another one of Josh's levels. That was in Josh L6, but it was also in CCLB4 as well. Okay. Oh, we can actually... Can we kill him? Mm. I don't know if we can. This is a very interesting little challenge here. I like it, though. Okay. I 
panicked. Okay, so the the question is, what do we do with that? I'm assuming we need to get. Wait a minute. We need to get the teeth monster up here. Is what I'm seeing. So what's the point of the block? Is that just like a? Mm. Huh. Okay, let's restart. This is an interesting way to use the walls of this section. Oh! There's a yellow key there! Wow. That was pretty silly of me to try to push the block up there like that. This is a great place to put a teeth dodging puzzle, though. Well, I don't know if it's really a puzzle per se, but you know what I mean. It definitely requires a little bit of thinking. Okay, so now we go through here, and we got some blocks. Interesting. We got another teeth thing. So is guiding teeth going to be kind of the predominant principle of the level? Because if so, that's, that's kind of cool. Okay, I can already see some issues here. Although, maybe not. Yeah, we got it. No problemo. All we have to do is just go here, go there, and we should be good to go. Oh, right, there's water in here. I am officially a moron for <laughs> missing that. Oh, man. When will you ever learn, JB? Okay, here we go. I like just how distinct this level's sense of identity, if you want to call it that, is from uh, its predecessor. Like, this is already feeling very different than Fire's My Enemy, and it's definitely a lot, it's definitely strong, stronger for that. Not stronger necessarily than Fire's My Enemy, but it's definitely stronger than a lot of levels that are sequels. Okay, we're, we're good. <laughs> I say we're good, and then that happens. Wow. Am I crazy or what? Okay, here we go. Come on, teeth. Go into the bomb. You know you want to. I also like that water space that's touching all of the blocks there. It's very uh, tempting to push one in and like, oh yeah, I can access the other ones, but you really need to work around it. Okay, here we go. Come on. A little less fail this time. There we go. So what does that do? I'm assuming that's good. Or anything around here that that unlocked? Nope. Okay. I'm going to assume that that's good, so let's move on. Okay, you really have to use every single pop-up wall here. Okay. I like how we're working backwards here compared to Fire's My Enemy. That's kind of neat. What does this do? Oh. Oh, this is definitely interesting. So 3, 6, 9, 12. Clear those four there. And then we got seven there. Also, is this the layout of the blue wall maze from Fire's My Enemy that was down here? I think it actually might be, come to think of it. Okay, so don't need to worry about that. That part kind of reminds you of Reservoir Frogs, one of my levels from CCLP4. 
All right, so that enables us to get a block out from there. Okay, so do I really need to push that in the water? Yes, because I need to get that over. There we go. So now I can enter here. And I really only have this way to go. Is this held down? That's not holding anything down. Okay, I'm going to make the assumption it is. And I'm going to make the also make the assumption that I have to push this over through. Okay, good. It actually is held down. That's... I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I just missed something that tells you that. But yeah, there's definitely a trap there. Okay, I'm going to get the flippers later, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Okay, got you. Got you guys. Think outside the box for this part. I'm going to assume that that's a reference to Fire is My Enemies hint, because I don't actually need to think outside the box for this part, but in the original level I did have to, so that's kind of cool. Okay, this is interesting. Maybe this is the part I have to think outside the box for. So I have six blocks. And I need to push some through there. Okay. This looks a little dangerous, for lack of a better word. Mm. Huh. Um, I'm going to assume all I need to do is just do the obvious. So maybe there is no outside the box thinking. Unless I have to bring a block, another block with me. But it doesn't seem like it. In fact, I think this is the exact block arrangement from Fire is My Enemy. <laughs> it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like, I don't know if that's intentional or not. Let me, um, I guess, do this. There's a teeth over here. And I'm going to assume that this teeth needs to blow up one of the bombs. So let's do that. I don't know what I need to use these blocks for, though. I guess bridging over there? This thief is definitely from Fires My Enemy as well. So that's kind of cool. I and mean, I guess these two blocks over here are really all I can use, right? Because the other ones are pretty much unusable, because one's next to a bomb, and the other one is trapped over there. So yeah, I'm just going to assume that there's nothing more to do unless there's something under. Nope, there's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this section. And not lose our boots in the process. I hope that was correct. Okay, good, it was. Okay, this is definitely mirrored, mirroring the start of Fires My Enemy. <laughs> and this is mirroring the end. That is really neat. I really like that. So I really just have to make sure I clear a pathway with zero. Okay, where are you supposed to go? Just down there anywhere? I'm going to assume yes. I mean, I don't see any way to use the teeth here. I hope this is right. I also have to get some skates at some point. Don't know exactly where... Oh, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> I can just do that. Silly JB. All right, and now I just push this. I get another pair of flippers, I guess. And now I can go there and out here. I'm still really confused about what I did with the tank button. Oh, 
Oh no, I really hope I didn't miss anything. Is there something in here? Ah, here we go. Okay, that was really cool. I kind of wish there was a secret hint, but then again, we already had that callback hint, so. But yeah, if there was a hint that was accessible via that open area at the end there, that would have been kind of cool, but it's it's okay. There's, there's no need for it. All right, Metal Fox, level 31. I think this will be the last level for the video. Let's follow the right wall and see where this takes us. Looks like another maze, so... This kind of reminds me a little bit of Jeffrey's Error 512 level from, I think it was Ultimate Chip 4, if I remember correctly. So far I'm not noticing anything here. It seems like, you know, there's no chips even, so I'm wondering if it's just a get to the exit level. If it is, it looks like it is, then it's kind of the perfect level to put after a really long linear level like the one we just played. I'm wondering if there's also some uh, tank buttons to press, but there's really nowhere for these tanks to go, so I'm going to assume not. Okay, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Do, 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 do. And I think this is the way home. Yep, that was it. That was a nice breather level. I liked that. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop here. Next time we will take on Blinker Chasm. Uh, so if, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support a lot. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that little bell so you get notified in the next episode. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.